Howdy folks, Brother Jim reporting here at End Times Prophecy News. A high school mole spending $600,000 to remove George Washington murals because they traumatize students. We don't need to give them the true history. We got the Jesuit curriculum, which will brainwash your kids and get them to hate you and behead you in the Great Tribulation period. A high school in San Francisco is now weighing three options to get rid of what they consider a terribly politically incorrect set of murals of America's first president, George Washington. How dare they do such a thing? The plans come with astronomical costs that cover up the murals up with a curtain at a stunning cost of $300,000. The devils are just going crazy, aren't they? Paint over them at $600,000 or cover them up with a paneling at $875,000. Gee, I'll, I could do it for a lot cheaper, but I would never do it. Antibix activists argue that two 83-year-old murals are offensive to Native Americans and African Americans and claim they traumatize students and community members. The San Francisco Unified School District Working Group says the artwork glorifies slavery, genocide, colonization, manifest destiny, white supremacy, oppression, and doesn't represent SFUSD values of social justice, diversity, united, student-centered. Student-centered? Really? Uh, how is it that it's student-centered when we have the highest suicidal rate between 16 and 24 year olds in history uh, because it's called Jesuit curriculum a doctrine of devils to ignore our history to push LGBTQ transgenderism abominations teaching kindergartners to kindergartners to be transgenders uh, from a boy to be a girl and an eight-year-old as testified by a past school teacher for a, a, past, uh, a retired school teacher I reported said that they're teaching eight-year-olds in California and this is California to literally have butt sex the girls have butt sex in front of the boys how about that one she said she even said there are things they teach I can't even say just imagine what those would be two of the 13 panels in the mural series have come under fire since the 1960s for the controversial depictions of African Americans and Native Americans the Richmond District blog writes and one mural entitled Mount Vernon George Washington appears to be in conversation with another Caucasian man who gestures toward a seated African American man holding corn presumably a slave in other parts of the mural African Americans are engaged in acts of manual labor like hauling large bales of hay and picking cotton in the fields while Caucasian men are also laboring at other tasks with tools well I, I got news for you Dems from hell let's see you demonize this mural right but what are you pushing you're pushing for for the Mexicans to come in you've been pushing this for decades and decades and 50 over 50 years you're pushing for the Mexicans to pick the cotton and the fruit and all the food now, aren't you? Yes, that's what you've been doing. And you're calling it their right to be illegal aliens. You bastards from hell. You the one, you are the party that brought in the African-American slaves and you, and you're, and you're, uh, your slave owners who were in your party are the ones who did it and yet today we want they want reparations paid by us the conservatives to who people who died 150 years ago 
The second panel entitled Westward Vision depicts Benjamin Franklin and other founding fathers looking at George Washington as he points off in the distance while he points with his other hand to a map on the right side of the mural as if carrying out Washington's call for westward expansion. Frontiersmen, depicted in grayscale unlike other figures in the mural, stand over the dead body of a Native American man, signifying the genocide of Native American life and culture. In the bottom right of the westward vision panel, a frontiersman and Native American chiefs sit at a campfire smoking a peace pipe, getting high. On the ground at the chief's feet is a tomahawk, symbolizing the disarming of de Native tribes. Yet who wants to disarm you? The same people who want to get rid of this. The Dem Party. They want to disarm you and arm you, your enemies like Islam. You see, that's what they want. What do you think Obama gave $150 billion to Iran for? Hello? Directly above the chief's headdress is a broken tree limb representing broken treaties made by the US government with Native Americans and broken promises made by settlers. Reason Magazine, there's plenty of broken promises from by the US government. But you can rest assured they were principalities in high places. Devils. Reason Magazine noted that the murals were intended to be controversial. The truth is that George Washington's high school mural is provocative by design. Uh, hold on a second. There we go. It was painted in 1936 by a Russian-American artist named Viktor Arnatov who held leftist sympathies. Arnatov did not wish to blindly interesting the murals made by a leftist. Arnatov did not wish to blindly celebrate Washington while ignoring the less savory aspects of the American founding. And thus he depicted the first president working his slaves and sending men to confiscate Native American lands. So what we have here is leftists attacking a leftist mural drawer, drawer or uh, the one who you know drew it in the first place artists <laughs> it was an attempt to remind students that history is a lot messier than what they read in class wrote robbie soav quote he put those ghastly great pioneers literally walking over the dead body of an Indian to demonstrate that the settlement of the West was an act of conquest that involved the slaughter of a Native Americans. Robert Kemi, a San Francisco State University professor, told the school's district board of education in 2018 that was a very bold effort on his part to counter the kinds of textbooks that students were seeing. Oh, and by the way, I don't recommend TBN for you to listen to for for real Bible teaching. But I did notice that on TBN, they have a series of, of uh, history, U.S. history being shown to the public that is not being shown in schools. You see, at least TBN's waking up to the Jesuit curriculum in schools. Yeah, and we wonder why it says in the last book of the Bible in Malachi that Moses and Elijah will be brought back and they will turn the hearts of the fathers back to their sons and daughters. Why? Because of the Jezebel spirit working in the world. Continuing on, Soav noted that some people who intended a public hearing on the matter don't seem to understand what a school does. Why do we have to explain the pain caused by the visual offense that we see in that building that is supposed to be an institution for learning. Asked one woman at a public meeting about the issue on Tuesday, quote, it's not in a museum, it's inside a school, lamented another speaker who apparently did not understand the point of a school. Our students, all of them, deserve better, Soav wrote. Historian Fergus M. Bordewich told the College Fix in May that it is a deeply wrong-headed ab habit to project today's norms, values, ideals backwards in time to find our ancestors inevitably falling short. Quote, it betrays a very troubling intolerance of art and the ambiguity of art and the aspirations of art, he said. 
It's incredibly stupid if we try to erase history. It still happened, and you should argue about its meanings. Very true. Wise man. Actually, I wouldn't say he's wise man. I would say common sense. Thank you for listening. Now, folks, you know what I think of medicinal marijuana from the THC psychedelic side of it. But the facts are cannabis industry has been unleashed by our president when he signed into law the 2018 Farm Bill legalizing medicinal marijuana into federal law. President Trump realizes the benefits of medicinal marijuana and its need to be researched at the federal level. So this has opened all kinds of sides of the industry to be explored as this industry continues to grow at a phenomenal rate. The fact is, cannabis industry is a very lucrative industry. The fact is, people are abandoning their wine tours for cannabis tours in America now. Cannabis is here to stay, and it's only getting bigger by the day. Cannabis has many medicinal effects on the CBD non-psychedelic side of it. So whether your investment be growing it or buying into the stocks of cannabis, it is a win-win situation as this industry continues to explode please check out the mud long informational video posted in the link down below where john boehner former speaker of the house is speaking about it he's all in on it whether you are for smoking it or for the non-psychedelic cbd side of it that is your choice what you do with it you can't pass up this chance to take advantage of this informational offer on how to make a bundle of money on a medicinal plant that was created by god and on the face of the earth for our benefit but was outlawed for several years.